guys, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. I apologize. I am still waking up right now. This is the most tired that I've been in a very long time, but I'm up, I'm Adam today, and we are gonna have a productive day. All right, before we get started, I wanna say thank you so much to MTV's X on the Beach for sponsoring this vlog. Today is gonna be so much fun. I'm throwing a little surprise for Cal. Also, before we get started, I am starting with pre-workout for the day. I'm doing Ghost's Sour Watermelon because I really need it right now. But I'm just gonna do half a scoop. I did a full scoop yesterday and it was a little too much. So half a scoop should be good. Shake, shake, shake. Give it a little drink. Ooh, I'm already feeling better. As you can see, I'm up and I'm wearing my workout gear because I want to get my morning workout in. I've been getting onto a better schedule and I'm feeling so good. So today I have a bunch of work stuff I need to get done. Cal's parents are coming tomorrow, but I'm also gonna prep some breakfast while we talk right now. Fun fact, in case you guys did not know this about Cal and I, Cal and I love watching TV shows together, especially keeping up with them weekly. It's like a fun thing for us to do. We love making dinner together or picking up dinner or getting it delivered to the house and then watching a show, especially if it is a love-based reality show that's our personal fave. And I'm not kidding you when I tell you that we watched MTV's X on the Beach on our first date ever. I have such vivid memories of it. And we were just laughing and it's really, really funny. It's a really good show if you guys haven't watched it already. We'll talk more about it in a second, but I want to make my breakfast. I am obsessed with chia pudding. And if you guys haven't made it before, it's really, really easy. It takes like 30 minutes to set up. So I'm going to work out while it's setting up and then we'll have breakfast. Great source of fiber and really easy to throw into breakfast in the morning or you can make it a full breakfast and go. I'm just gonna make it in a little measuring cup. So it's super simple. I'm gonna make mine with almond milk, but you can make it with whatever sort of milk that you'd like. I'm gonna start with one cup of milk. I'm doing unsweetened almond milk. I'm gonna start with my flavorings. I'm gonna do a little bit of vanilla bean paste because I love vanilla bean paste. It just has such nice pure vanilla flavor and it's got all the little vanilla seeds if you can see in there. It smells so good. I'm almost done with this one. I have a backup though, but I use this in baking. I use this all the time. It's very strong, so I'm just gonna add like a very small, small, small amount. Just a lick of that. Put this in and evenly distribute that before you put the seeds in. <gasps> the milk already has all like little vanilla specks in it. You can add whatever you like. If you wanna add a sweetener of your choice, you can add maple syrup, honey, stevia, regular sugar. I'm personally not gonna add sweetener, but I am gonna add a little bit of this extract, which I'm obsessed with this extract. I got this on Amazon, but the flavor is natural yellow cake. It smells so good. I love adding this to my cookie dough. Basically anything I can sneak it into. I just add a tiny, tiny amount. like four drops or so. It's strong, but really yummy. So I'm mixing that in first. Then we're gonna add in four tablespoons of chia seeds, which I know this doesn't seem like a ton for how much milk there is. And then if you wanna also double, triple, quadruple this recipe, make the conversions bigger, obviously. Then we're gonna mix. And what chia seeds do is they absorb all of the liquid and it's gonna become like a gelatinous pudding. They almost become like this like cell and they become like chewy in a way. So sorry if that's a horrible way of describing it, but I'm gonna mix, mix, mix till it's all nice and homogenous. Put a cover on it, stick it in the fridge, and when I come back out, it should be the perfect consistency. So easy! Fun fact, actually really, really sad fact. If you were a kid and you had a ch 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 chia it's the same seeds. I'm gonna put it in the fridge and then we'll check on it. Okay guys, as I was saying, we're having Having a productive day today and then tonight I thought it would be really cute to plan a little date night for Cal and I. Once his family gets here it's gonna be really crazy and we're obviously not gonna have time just us two together for a little while. So tonight I thought it'd be really cute if we made some drinks together. There was a drink that he got in New York at this restaurant in Brooklyn. The restaurant was called Reset and then their drink was like a jalapeno tequila with matcha and pineapple juice and he was like losing his mind at it. So I thought it'd be really fun for our date night if I recreate that for him or I attempt to. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite espresso martini and then we could do like a little sushi night because it's one of our favorite foods together And then we can recreate our first day by watching X on the beach If you guys don't know what the show is about I reference it on pretty basic all the time because I think it's honestly the funniest concept for a show that I've ever seen These people all these like single people go to a beach and they're in a house together And they think they're like on a regular show and then one by one their exes start showing up on the beach And it's so hilarious their reactions when their exes start showing up And then obviously the whole show keeps continuing and then it's like are they going to meet someone new? Or are they gonna get back with their ex? I truly think about the show all the time, I really do. When I was single, I would always think about how if I showed up on the show, I would be an absolute wreck. I'd be the girl that's like crying in every episode and super emotional, super dramatic, because as we know, 
I am a drama queen. As I said, I love keeping up with shows week to week, whether it's with Cal or also, honestly, Asian Girl Squad. We're really good at keeping up with shows together. It's just like a fun thing to get together with your friends and keep up with each other. Text in between, obviously. It's fun to do in real time. So I highly recommend watching this season. It is going to be crazy with drama. I always get obsessed with like characters from reality shows and then like I become obsessed with their lives and their personalities and everything. Everyone is so fun to keep up with. So if you guys are interested, you can watch new episodes of X on the Beach on Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern time time only on MTV. I posted a story of me saying working out no ceilings with a heart and everybody was like I thought you were being motivational but no you actually have no ceilings. I'm gonna do some cardio. Goodbye. All right guys workout is finished and before I go shower I made my breakfast. I was craving both sweet and savory this morning. I got my chia seed pudding it looks so good and I put some fresh strawberries on top it looks amazing and then for my savory I couldn't decide between a scrambled egg and a regular egg so I did one of each. Not a regular egg sunny side up and then I have a morning star veggie sausage which is so good I threw it in the air fryer they're delicious along with some avocado we got healthy fats we got carbs we got fiber protein I feel like it's a very well-balanced breakfast I'm gonna add some hot sauce onto this side and eat up also I've been trying to chug a gallon of water a day so everybody if you're watching this drink up let's drink together oh I wish I was recording that. can you say that one more time <laughs> and action your hair looks so good. Thank you. <laughs> Hi guys. Since I last saw you, I took a shower and I did my own hair. Wit was very impressed with my blowout skills. Oh, it looks like a wig. Like it looks like <laughs> it is a wig. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I don't know. It just looks like beautiful. Thank you so much. We did the Dyson Air Wrap. I used the big barrel, the long, thicker barrel on my hair. And now we are filming a video. You want to say hi? Hi. Okay. <laughs> we are doing a video today, which I'm really excited about. And I think I want to make this a series on my channel. We did one episode already, which was testing celebrity products. And you guys liked it so much. And I got so many requests to do another video, but make it influencer products. So we're trying some influencer products today. I won't give away which, but it's going to be really funny. And we've been prepping for this for a while. So we're filming that today. First of which is a makeup brand because there are so many influencer makeup brands. That's why I've got a bare face. And we're going to test something out. So I will keep you updated throughout the day and I'll see you very soon. Okay guys, just filmed. We filmed like half or so. I still need to try a few things, but I wanted to show you my outfit that I just put on. These are the Parallel Apparel Core sweatpants, which are truly my favorite sweatpants to ever exist. Along with my favorite top to ever exist, this is the Square Neck Tank in an exclusive color. Miss Alicia gave me exclusive access to the next five colors of Square Neck Tanks. I was just playing with, I'm like, I wake up every morning. It's not which top I'm gonna wear, it's which color of the Square Neck Tank am I gonna wear today. I know I talk about it all the time, but truly it's because I don't have to wear a bra at all. Like my ladies look amazing. It's so comfortable. I feel so cute in them. And I'm not just saying this because it's Alicia and Ash's brand. I truly do love it so much. Feeling very Yeezy in this look right now, this like desert vibe. But truly, I'm obsessed. I would say to size up in the top though, if you have a bigger chest, I just feel more comfortable and it doesn't cut me off here as much. But love it, gonna keep filming. Hello, we got a salad for lunch and I figured I would share with you. We've got kale, sweet potatoes, a hard boiled egg, chicken, cucumbers, onion. I got green goddess ranch, which I've never tried. Toasted almonds, which I love. This is not nearly enough toasted almonds though, hello. I'm gonna add the other half of the avocado from earlier that I had. And yum, yum, yum. I got these Texas toast garlic and butter croutons. So I'm gonna crunch them on top. The biggest croutons ever. They're like little cubes. Just gonna like take them, crunch them in like this. Yeah. Get a little bread crummy action. Avocado going in. Here we go. Let's try this ranch. It's so dilly, yummy. <laughs> wow, I'm really excited about this salad. Yeah! <laughs> My energy's finally kicking in. <laughs> I was still like, when she got here. No, literally, when, it, when we got here, I was like, I had pre-workout in a Celsius and I'm so tired still. No, I'm not! <laughs> I'm not gonna sleep. I've never had the black and chicken before. It's so good. Hello, I'm back. It's a few hours later and I'm eating again because I got hungry. Still chugging my water. We're on the second fill of the day and I made myself a snack. I have some Samyang carbonara noodles here. I made them for a thumbnail. I took a photo with them for a what I eat in a week video because I forgot to get one last week. And then I put most of them in the fridge and then I'm having some as a little snack. Definitely not as good when they're not fresh. It got a little dried out, but that's okay. And then also at the Japanese market, I picked up these little char siu buns which is barbecue pork. It's just like a little bun that you wrap in a wet paper towel and you microwave it and then you've got a hot whew, 
steamy. Do you see that steamy pork bun at home? So good. <laughs> we got so much work stuff done today. We filmed a whole video. We got the thumbnail taken care of. I got a couple brand things that I needed to get done. I recorded all the ads for Pretty Basic this week. I'm now just chilling. Cal's finishing up work and then we are going to begin our fun little date night. Until then though, I chill. This is my favorite time of the day. When the sun is just starting to set, there's a calmness in the house. I hear Cal, I think he finished work. Two thumbs up. Hi guys, okay, it's later. I'm so excited. I was gonna have Cal help me in the kitchen, but then I realized I wanna surprise him. All right, date night is about to commence very soon, but I wanna get the drinks going, so. First up, I'm gonna show you guys how to make my favorite espresso martini. I will say in the past, I did tweet and mention that I hated espresso martinis because everyone that I had tried in the past was so gross, it made me want to get. But I have figured out the perfect concoction of things to mix together to make it delicious. And the thing that really puts it over the top for me is this alcohol whipped cream, which is called Whip Shots from Cardi B. And for me to enjoy an espresso martini, I've learned it needs to have Baileys in it because it's just like creamy and delicious. So let me get my scale because it's very, specific. All right, to begin, I'm going to brew two ounces of espresso. I'm getting sleepy already and we need to watch X on the beach still, so I need to wake up. This is gonna be perfect for two ounces is essentially a double shot. You can totally do less coffee or espresso if you'd like. This is just the best proportions that I found. Let me push you back a bit. Okay, two ounces of espresso. All right, we've got our scale on. I have it on fluid ounces. I'm gonna put this all in a shaker. So I'm gonna begin with my shaker and you do the thing where you set it back to zero. I forget the chemistry term, but you put it back to zero. And now we add two ounces of espresso into our little guy. Woo, little too much. It's honestly fun. It's like a little science experiment. Beautiful. Two ounces. Set. Now we're gonna add one ounce of vodka. You can do tequila if you'd like, or whatever alcohol you like. Obviously I'm doing Tito's. One ounce of this. An ounce of Kahlua, which is a liqueur. An ounce of Bailey's, which is like a really pretty creamy, milky color. And this adds so much creaminess to the drink. And now we add ice and shake. I must say it's probably better if you add the coffee after it is not hot, but we don't have time for that here, so. Okay, top on, shake it really well so it gets nice and foamy. Ooh, it's getting cold. Wow, I got my cup here. This is my favorite cup to use for this. It's a glass from CB2. Oof, she got frosty, it's so cold. If the top could come off, that'd be lovely. Shoot. <laughs> oh, I got it, I got it, okay. Pour it into a glass, it should be nice and frothy. Ugh. Yes! Now it is perfect as is. You can add some little espresso beans on top if you'd like, but to make it extra special, I'm gonna add some of this caramel vodka infused whipped cream. Oh, hold on, wait, I'm supposed to go like this first. Cal! He thinks his drink is ready, but Momo just needs to go out. Baby, can you take Momo out? I'm just gonna do a little bit right in the center. Just a little, a little floater if you will. <laughs> Let's give it a taste. It looks and tastes like a delicious milkshake. I know Momo, your dad's coming. I'm so sorry, I'm making drinks for myself. Oh my God, it's so good. It literally tastes like you paid $20 for this at an overpriced restaurant. It's that delicious, I promise. All right, that's mine. Now to get going on the next one, let me clean up a bit and we're just gonna make this up. I have no idea what to do. All right, quick, while he's outside. I looked up the menu on online and they listed what's in the cocktails and so what's in it is jalapeno tequila, pineapple juice, matcha, and I think Luckily, on my bar cart, I found this pineapple and jalapeno tequila, so I'm pretty sure this will work. I've got pineapple juice, oh, and lime juice, it was lime juice. I'm gonna try and see if I can get the measurements right. So, I cleaned this out. Let's make some matcha first. Okay, I'm gonna use my favorite matcha ever. Go by! Do you know what I'm doing? I heard matcha, that's it. No! Nah. Me and my big mouth. I'm making matcha lattes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm using chamber and matcha, which is my favorite. About this much. Put it in this little cup of water that I have. Dang, flab it, Remy. You soiled the plans. I'm gonna whisk it. Ooh, yep, should have known that was gonna happen. Okay, I mean, looks good. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Okay, shaker on the scale. I'm gonna try the two ounce method with the matcha. Oh, exactly two ounces, perfect. I'm gonna try two ounces, maybe an ounce and a half of this and we can see. Wait, gotta do math in my head. Okay, three and a half. <gasps> it's filling everywhere. I did one and a half ounces of tequila. I hope this is good. We're gonna try an ounce of pineapple juice and half a lime. Roll the fruit out first before you squeeze it. It gets juicier. Okay, ice and we're gonna shake again. Here goes nothing. Cold again. 
got it. I'm getting better. Now in a margarita glass, we pour. Looks good. Will it taste good? I have to give it a little taste test. Oh my God, it's actually actually really good. I think regular tequila would have been better than this flavored stuff, but maybe a little more lime. Cal, I'm ready for you. Can you see it? Not really. What is it? I made your green matcha. Oh, did you, did you really? I tried. Cheers. I hope it's good. That's really good. Really? Yeah, that's really good. I used this tequila that has the flavors already. I think with like regular, it'd probably be better, right? It tastes really good to me. <laughs> Would you like to try my espresso martini? Sure. This one I hit out of the park. That's really good. It's so good. Okay, guys, we have our date night drinks. Does it taste like the one from Vegas? Not yes. Vegas, New York? Yes. Really? Yeah. I'm pretty proud. I like the matcha. I think for dinner, we're just gonna do like a little hand roll station. So we're just gonna chop up a bunch of things and make little hand rolls while we watch TV. Love it. A dinner and a show. SOS, date night has gone horribly wrong. I bought sushi grade salmon and it smells fishy and I've always been told you're not supposed to eat sushi if it smells fishy. And after my spell of food poisoning last week, I am not taking a chance. Yeah, do it. No! We're ordering sushi. Our special date night that I had planned. I'm so yeah. sad. I'm Sorry. While we're deciding what to get for dinner now, I want to show you. I finished all the chia seed pudding that I made this morning. I had some for breakfast, some for a snack, both with fresh strawberries on top. And then Sarah, my assistant, saw me eating some. And I was like, do you want to have some? So I gave her the last serving or last bit of the one I made this morning. And it was so good and I enjoyed it so much that I made a triple batch. And this time I made it matcha chia pudding. Basically I did the same thing as I did earlier, but I poured the milk in, put about like a teaspoon of matcha, and then I whisked it up with the vanilla bean paste so that it was all nice and smooth. It was like matcha milk that I put the chia seeds in. So this is what I was left with. I did three cups of almond milk and then 12 tablespoons of chia seeds is three fourths of a cup. So that's everything that I put in here. It looks like green dinosaur eggs. <laughs> I'm gonna mix it to show you the consistency. Cal's pacing because he's hungry and trying to decide what to get for dinner. <laughs> I don't know what I want. I thought our dinner was gonna come together so quickly. <laughs> we'll do hand roll night another night, but <gasps> this is my perfect chia seed pudding consistency. If you like it thinner, then obviously put either less chia seeds or more milk, but I am so excited. I love anything matcha, and I truly would have ordered this from a cafe. You can wake up in the morning, add some granola, add some fresh fruit. You can even add it on top of like an acai bowl. Oh my God, mm. The matcha adds a lot of depth to it. All right, this is what I'm having for breakfast tomorrow, for sure. We're back. This has been a chaotic vlog. We realized we can just make shrimp tempura rolls because we have frozen shrimp tempura, and then also I have some like pre-cooked shrimp, so we're just gonna make shrimp rolls instead of salmon sushi. She rolls. Do I have a bug bite on my arm? I do. It hurts to put my elbow down. Okay, so what we need for these is cucumbers, avocado, shrimp tempura, which I already have cooked. I'm cooking some pre-made rice right now and we're gonna make that into sushi rice and then a sriracha mayo to dip in and that sounds really good. We've got our bowl. I've got my pre-cooked rice and to make sushi rice, all you need, baby, can you get the sugar from the cabinet? Mm -hmm. We've got rice. Granulated. Yes, granulated sugar. About two wow. teaspoons of rice rice vinegar. Actually, this is not a lot of rice. I'm just gonna do one teaspoon. Salt, a little sprinkling of sugar, maybe like half a teaspoon. Mix it together and you have delicious hot, fresh sushi rice. Hot, fresh sushi rice. That's a free shavaka if I've ever seen one. All right, I'm making our sauce right here. I've got QP mayo, which I'm almost out of. I need to go get more. Sriracha, I'm gonna do a smidge. Small spit of soy sauce. Gotta really watch it. <gasps> Perfect, okay, soy. And then this is Tobiko or flying fish row. And they're so good. They just add like a little poppy flavor and texture to your sauce. Mix it all up and we got a delicious dipping sauce for our sushi. I think I'm ready to roll. Do you wanna roll together? You wanna roll over there, I'll roll over here. I shall attempt. Okay. To roll our sushi, we've got our nori or our seaweed. I think it's shiny side down, but I might be making that up and we will see how this goes. Got our white rice. Little bit of rice, little bit of rice. And you wet your hands so that the rice doesn't stick. All right, I'm gonna do shrimpies. These are cooked, so I think it's okay. Avocado, cucumber, lots of cucumber, shrimp tempura, with the tails out. Then we roll. Then we wet the edge. Roll, roll, roll. Then we chop in half. Not too shabby. It looks more like a kimbap, which is a Korean sushi. Here's our little roll with everything. 
Mmm. Oh my god, really good. I will say my seaweed is busting a bit, but that's okay. That's actually really good. Wow. There we go. We got our little sushi roll. Since I ate such a big snack a little while ago, I'm not that hungry. So this is gonna be my dinner along with my espresso martini. Oh my god, yours looks really good. Oh my god, better than mine. mine. That's beautiful, baby. All right, we're gonna eat our dinner, drink our drinks. We got exclusive access to the first episode of the new season, so we are stoked. Are you excited? Mm-hmm. We are baking cookies. I made the dough yesterday. If you guys want the recipe, it's on cookingwithremy.com under the desserts tab. Normally, I make them six ounces, but these ones, I made three, and I think this is actually like the perfect single serve cookie size. Normally, they're giant, giant, and I baked these for 12 minutes at 400 degrees, and I also dipped them in more chocolate chips. Oh, I'll show you here. I dipped them and more chocolate chips before I bake them. I did a mixture of milk and semi sweet. <laughs> look who's coming over. They look perfect. I could do the cup. You take the cup and you go like this and it makes a perfect circle, but they look pretty, pretty good on their own. Hello guys. Okay, I'm sitting here with my squish and my pups and Cal's over there. Oh my God, everybody always asks why Cal sits on the chair and why he doesn't sit on the couch. Cal, do you want to tell them why you don't sit on the couch? I always fall asleep. He always falls asleep, but I always get messages. They're like, why is Cal sitting on the chair? The episode was dry. Drama. I seriously think the premise of this show is the most hilarious thing that I have ever seen. Truly, if you guys have not watched, you are missing out. I am tired. We had a long, productive day. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I am going to go to bed. Cal's parents are officially coming tomorrow, so we need to get to bed. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you again to MTV's X on the Beach for sponsoring, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.